Okay, so I found out that the cemetery is only three minutes from this park. So I'm driving over there now. They close at five and it's already four. And it's free. Great place to walk and have some peace and quiet too. I don't do it often, but whenever I walk through a cemetery, I get this overwhelming feeling of respect because every body that's been laid to rest here has fought the good fight, has completed the journey here in this world and everybody has a different story has had different circumstances different things that happen in their lives everyone's died in a different way everyone's lived in a different way but it's just so almost impressive to me that they they made the complete journey here on earth then i also just think about my life and what am i doing with it and am i making the most of every thing that this life has to offer and that's why I try to do as many things and spend time with as many loved ones as possible because every person laid to rest here their journey has ended I used to have severe anxiety and it was because I had thanatophobia which is the fear of death not the fear of dying, but the fear, fear of the finality of death. Like there's literally nothing, like you're dead, like it's over. I would have panic attacks. Whenever I'd lay down at night, I would just start thinking about not being here, <laughs> just literally ceasing to exist. I had to go to therapy for it. And the only thing that's helped me through that is my relationship with God. And it took for me to really dive into my Bible and do it every day as a solid disciplined practice to really study God and his word and the belief in Jesus Christ, which is the only way to heaven, to the afterlife. Those are my beliefs. It really gave me over time a sense of peace about death. And I don't know of any other way that I could have got over that fear, except by having the knowledge, the peace that there's something after this, that is not just complete darkness, dead, and like just over, over. I know there's some people that are atheists that don't believe that. And I don't even know, like, honestly, I'm not even trying to be funny, but I don't know how people can live with that knowledge of just the finality of death. I, I personally cannot do it. But just the thought of that there's something after this and it's attainable gives me a lot of hope and peace and gratitude that there's a God, a creator that would offer that. And it just makes me feel, feel grateful. And also for those of you that are skeptics, I definitely understand I went through that time of skepticism, but to me, I'd rather go towards something that is a possibility that's attainable and live on that path and that journey than to have complete hopelessness that there's nothing else. So if I get to the end and I die and there's nothing else, I'm literally not going to know I'm going to be dead. But to bring myself peace and not be like in that extreme state of anxious fear, it's awesome. I also could have driven through this cemetery, but they were saying that the exhaust can really mess with the gravestones or tombstones so it's better and also more healthier to just take a walk i also think about the overwhelming amount of emotion that the family left behind feels when their loved one dies and how you have to make so many choices during that time of grief you have to think about how you want to memorialize the person how they might have wanted to be memorialized you have to decide what kind of grave you want to be buried in or cremation. 
a celebration service, a funeral, a wake. And all while you're trying to grieve the loss, that person is no longer here. And when I come to a cemetery, every person here, well, at least 95%, I would say, had somebody that had to do that, had to take their time to figure all of this out, how it was gonna be set up for their final resting place. Now I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not a fast runner. But if those doors open right there, you're gonna see the quickest travel snack sprinter you've ever seen in your life. Or if I see a hand coming up out of one of these graves, it's gonna be like super speed, super power. That's just gonna be all of a sudden, I'm just gonna get the burst of energy that you've never seen before. Because I'm not playing with no zombies or something coming out out of the grave. That is so pretty, a rose bush. Well, I don't know if those are roses, but beautiful bright flowers just falling to the ground just right here. It's really beautiful. Maybe it doesn't look like it in the video, but it's really quite pretty because everything else is kind of brownish and that just kind of brightens it up. There's another one over there. Look at that. It's so beautiful and almost poetic. Also, once I get my ducks lined up in a row, me getting my own house, settle down a little bit, have my finances in a row, I really want to pre-pay for my final resting. I'm pretty sure I want to get cremated. My family doesn't love that idea, and I guess they're going to be able to do whatever they want to do once I'm gone. I would prefer that because my biggest fear in life is being buried alive, and I don't want anyone to make a mistake. Be like, oh, she did, and then bury me, and then I'm like, well, now I have to panic until I actually die. That sounds terrible. It gives me an instant panic attack. I'd rather get cremated, and I guess that could be the same thing. Like, you're in the little cremation oven machine, and you wake up. That's gonna be over quick. That's gonna be like in flames, you die. That's terrible as well, but at least it's not as bad as like having to suffocate to death and you're just like very aware of it for however many hours it's gonna take. No, thank you. No, I don't want that. <sighs> Let's get off of that topic. I think I wanna prepay for that so that my family does not have to think about it when that time comes. And that'll give me great peace that they don't have to really put in their efforts to do that. Okay, so I think I'm in a section that's older because there's a lot of grander situations here. Let me show you. Oh, this one has an actual bust of the guy's face. Oh, he was a general. Oh, and then his wife has one right below him. Look at this delightful cross. Wow, that's amazing. That's very grand. Holy moly. Oh. This guy's got a great spot right by the lake. Okay, I'm not trying to be Judgy McJudgerson, but people, control your kids. There's a dad and a son out here, and okay, maybe they're having a father-son bonding, and the kid looks to be like, I don't know, five or six. I don't know, I can't really gauge that. But the dad's going around acting like a zombie. 
and the kid is just yelling and laughing and stuff. That part's whatever. But the kid is jumping, like hopscotching onto the graves. Like, bro, respect, respect the dead. Don't, don't, don't do that. That's so, so disrespectful. He's letting him climb up on these little tall pillar things and just run around. And the dad's just like, like trying to get at him. No, no, just, just, that's really rude. That's really disrespectful. I wonder what this means. Do not service. They want it to be overgrown. What's happening? Oh, and that one fell down. Are these bad people? No. I don't know who they are, but I don't know why it says do not service. If you know what that means, put it in the comments. That's so colorful and pretty. They say happy birthday. You know, good flowers and stuff. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm trying to get back to my van, but I think I might be lost. This place is huge. I don't know where I am. They have these maps, but I never stopped in to get one. Oh boy. And it's like 10 minutes before they close. <laughs> uh, oh boy. This isn't my best move. Is this one of the glass, this glass doors? Hold on. I'm trying to get back to my van, but... Oh, this one looks like it has a glass window. If a face shows up in there, I can't. Just be ready for me to start running. Oh, that's a little creepy. I don't, I don't really love that. It should just be no windows. That's, that's a no thank you. I'm actually not joking for real. I don't know where I am in this cemetery. I'm just trying to walk away from the, the water because that's on the other side. But I keep walking and there's just a million more graves. I don't see where the little parking lot is. I don't see, like this is another way to drive, more cemetery, and you walk down there. I don't have a direction. Where is my van? They're all just paths for walking or driving. Oh boy. Um, Boy, I really hope they don't lock me in because this would be a terrible place to overnight <laughs> in Savannah. Well, I mean, it'd be actually peaceful, but not like out here, just out in the open. Okay, I think I might be on the path back. I don't know 100%, but that's where that place I was, where the pier was. So I think I'm, I'm sweating. It's humid out here. Got like six minutes before the close the gate. Oh. Still don't see my van though. Oh crap. Oh man. I'm not kidding. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I made it. And I gotta go because my phone died. I'm sweating. My phone died, but a guy in a truck that works here, he was driving around and he's like, uh, are you trying to get back to your vehicle? I said, yes. He goes, are you in the white van? I said, yes. I said, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at. He goes, okay, you're on the right path, just a little ways down. Okay, I hope this fence opens. Oh goodness, how do I get out of here?
legitimately got lost up in that cemetery. And now I don't know where I'm going. I'm just driving to get out of there. That place was cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Not cool, I mean, because it's dead people, but just beautiful and a great place to pay respects and be at peace. Okay, well, that was really wild and interesting. Okay, where am I even going? One of the things I do when I'm in a new city is I type into Google, what are the best neighborhoods to live in XYZ city? And there's usually a few blogs that'll list out five to 10 different neighborhoods that are great. So I looked up a neighborhood and drove over there and parked at Walmart until I could get my bearings and figure out what I wanted to do for the rest of the evening and what I wanted to eat for dinner. for a small. All right, this took 25 minutes to make and I ordered a small. I thought it was gonna be like a little personal pan. This thing is a legitimate big regular pizza. What am I, I can't eat all this. It's just cheese because I don't really need any other toppings. But it looks delicious so let me eat it and I will rate it how many snack bags. Take off my shoes. It's hot, so let me not get under the covers. Let me take my socks off because it's humid. And grab a paper towel. Whee. All right. All right. It looks delicious, and it's piping hot. Good. The cheese is staying on it. This is Spanky's Pizzeria, and this is their south side location in Savannah, Georgia. All right, here we go. Oh. Let me let this cool down before I damage my internal mouth core. It's not as hot on top, but under the cheese. That sauce is blazing. On their menu, it says that they make their crust homemade from scratch every day. And they have the freshest ingredients. It said their pizza is world famous. So let's try this again. Now that it's cooled down just a tad. Hopefully. Oh man, let's try grease on my tank top. Mmm, that's got a good flavor, nice and mild. It's not very saucy though. I wish that there was a little more sauce in here, but the dough is really, really tasty. I'm gonna give this four snack bags, but if they would have put more sauce, it probably would have been like more closer to a 4.5 or 4.75, which is getting close to the five snack bags. Or if they would have given me a side of pizza sauce, I could have just dipped it in there. But the price, this is why I ended up giving it 4.5, is because the price for this whole Small, this is called a small, which I consider more like a medium. It was only $10 for cheese. Now, if you wanted toppings, they were a dollar each. So I wasn't about to do that. But $10 for a cheese pizza, that's pretty good. A homemade cheese pizza. Well, now I have lunch for the next two days. Okay. I've been working for the last two, three hours on this video and I've reached a nice stopping point. I'm ready to find a place to sleep and go to bed. Right now I'm just sitting in the parking lot of the pizza place and I need to look up where I'm gonna go. But I'm filming with the phone and that's the other thing is I need to get a second phone so I can film and look up stuff on a phone at the same time. Give me a second because I gotta look this up. Whenever I'm looking up a hotel, I'll go to Google, click the hotels button, then click on free parking. And then when I find one that has good reviews, I'll go to the photos and click on exterior and make sure that they have a big, nice level parking lot. Okay, I think it's the Hilton Garden that's nearby, like six minutes. So they had good reviews. 
it's close by and it looks like they have a pretty big parking lot so there should be plenty of spaces hopefully and not hit anybody on the way out bye spankies great pizza holy hampton inn and sweets also looks packed hilton garden in hampton ends same parking lot Oh my goodness. This place is packed. Oh, heck no. These people are parked up on the sides like this. Mm -hmm. That's too, too many cars. So, and there's people standing outside. No, thank you. I gotta pull over and find another spot. So Fairfield has a garage that I can't fit in. Hilton is full. Hampton Inn and & Suites looks full. And I think they have a garage parking. Okay, there's a Comfort Inn about a mile from here. And they look like they have a pretty decent parking lot. So we'll see. Four minutes away. Okay, here's the Comfort Inn. Let's see, turn here. Alright, this looks like maybe extra spots back here. I don't know. I'm gonna go on the back. This is fine. There's plenty of spots. It's good. All right. Lock my door. Grab my phone. Go straight to the back. Shade. Turn on my blue light. These down. All right. Now it's actually hot tonight, so I'm gonna change from my sweatpants into my shorts, and I might even need to turn my fan on. So I'll just have this set up right here. All right. So I'm about to go to bed, and then tomorrow I got a, just. I have a lot to do tomorrow, so I'll let you know how this day goes in the morning. Okay, good night. And then I have a four hour drive to a surprise location and I'm picking somebody up from the airport. I just have to wait and find out. All right, let's try this again. There's... Sweet. Snack time. Snack time.